good and glad you put it on your Facebook and all. Check one, check two, check three, check four. Check one, check two, check three. Flash it when we are on what? Twenty? What is it? Twenty-five minutes? Yeah, yes. Okay. Yeah, but twenty-four because we got to put the ads in between, right? The twenty-four minutes. Out. You're not seeing this little book, right? When you go in there, that... you wouldn't see this little book, right? I don't think so. If you're not seeing the screen, I will yep. see it. No. Yeah. Let's forget how does my hair look. Oh, you look good. So what we're gonna say is great to yeah. How we also do the introduction and our okay, so you, do the introduction. you guys you can you can glance at her some. She used to move back. You come come forward a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Your whole chair. Yeah. So you glance at her some. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, know, 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 you know, have I'm right now focused on the show. Yes, yes. You start. Okay. All right. So you look for the light and get to go. Uh, also, what I said, uh, make sure that the phone number flashes all the time. Can I put up all the, uh, I said all the different mm -hmm. places? Stop it. You cannot get out. Yeah. The jacket, uh, the ja yeah, it looks like... Uh, you want him to unbutton oh. the jacket? Huh? Yeah, I think so. Because it's, it's looking, um, yeah. Right. Yeah, this better, better. Yeah. Yeah. More relaxed. Yeah, yeah you're right. This is attorney Nuresh Gehi and uh, as usual I'm on air with Buddy Singh and today I'm with my fantastic host Marissa, the well-known Marissa. Fantastic having you on the show. It's, a it's pleasure. always a pleasure being with you. The pleasure so mine. today Marissa people have asked us immigration is a hot button in the country today which means there are immigration issues happening all the time in the country and the biggest topic for the day is the benefits of becoming an American citizen. And there are many people who think that becoming a citizen is a difficult job. You are mistaken and it is not a difficult job. And Marissa has a lot of questions for me from the community regarding citizenships. And the good news for all of you is that we have three officers. One is on Liberty Avenue in Ozone Park on 104th Street. Our second office is on 173rd Street and Jamaica Avenue for people who live in Jamaica. And if you're in Richmond Hill or Ozone Park, we have the Liberty office. If you're in Synecdoche, if you're watching the show anywhere else, the good news is that we have another office in Forest Hills. So let's begin the show with benefits of becoming an American citizen. So Marissa, let's start with the questions so, you have and let's get to the point straight. So I have a very important question for you. A lot of people ask or they want to know, what is the importance of being a U.S. citizen? There are many reasons why one should become an American citizen. Now the number one reason is that if you are an American citizen, you have the right to vote in this country. You can apply for federal jobs. You can sponsor your relatives, which means you have more leeway to sponsor a lot more relatives than what you'd be getting as a green card holder. So if you're a green card holder, there are times when you cannot sponsor your brothers and sisters and your married sons and daughters. But becoming an American citizen helps you to sponsor a lot of your relatives. And also, if you get married, you can get a spouse very quickly to America. 
So there's tons of benefits um, in becoming a U.S. citizen. That is tons correct. of benefits. And now leading to my second question, which is extremely important: Can a U.S. citizen be deported? That's a very good question. Marissa's question is: Can an American citizen be deported? Now, if you are charged or convicted of a crime, the good news is that you cannot be deported. But the only time which is kind of a very rare chance and generally it doesn't apply to a community is if you're going to commit an act of treason, which means if you want to overthrow the American government, right. if you have committed a big fraud, then only. But the good thing is that we've hardly seen citizens getting deported. The only time I've ever seen a citizen getting deported is if he's charged with a very, very, very serious crime which means like overthrowing the U.S. government and if you are kind of acting against the national interests of America. But the good news is, as a citizen, I would say that we are very much secured and we should be able to live in America happily. Great. That's a very important question. Um, so now leading to my third question. Um, if someone has been in the United States for a long time, they cannot speak English or read properly um, because it's not their first language. So let's talk Can about become... no. Let's talk about a Caribbean community and you know other immigrant communities. Now we get a lot of people watching our show, and uh, they ask us this question that I do not speak perfect Sorry. English. One second. What was that next question? You know, pick it up. Okay. The computer. The computer. Uh, they said it's private. It's the private. third question. Yeah. Okay. Give me one second. Let me. Uh... All right, buddy. One second, too. Guys, you don't want to let me interrupt you. No, I'm good. I'm good. I'm very much focused right now. Sit. 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 You know I never hit you, but you're being out of control. She's hot. That's why. What's going on? Luckily, it's not very bad because the weather is pretty good. So. Yeah. Taking care is not that hard at the time. 
It is like taking care of children, but in terms of shredding, no, they, they don't shred. I like the little one, oh my god. He's two months old. When she was so beautiful, I just chopped her face away by accident, trying to like cut her. She was so beautiful. She was just like him at all black. And that one that died, you would have loved Which, him. which book is this? That's a Yorkie, and that's a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzu, oh, yeah. oh, so. How old was your dog that passed away? He was only five years. Someone killed him. Poisoned what happened? Him. Someone poisoned him. Oh my god, how come? I'll tell you what I was doing. I used to work early and like they would bark and make noise and like they just did that. They were really mean. What did the doctor say that? The oh, we saw you? it on camera. I have it on camera. But I couldn't do anything because it was like me and putting her at risk. There's just me channels. So don't fight with anyone in the neighborhood. That's a key. Okay. Yes, go ahead. Okay. So my next question, if you are a, if you're in the United States and you're a green card holder and you speak very poor English and you write very poor English, can you become a U.S. citizen? Yes, that's a very important question. Uh, you take, take, take the question back one more time. Can, buddy, do you, I'm going to lock them up, buddy. Yeah, lock them at the back, keep them okay. in the back or something. Okay. Yeah, Instead, right. Okay. Okay, so, uh, Mr. Gahi, can you become a U.S. citizen if you read, speak, uh, um, your English is very poor, in other words? Can okay, you become a so US citizen? the question from Marissa mm -hmm. is very important that applies to some people in our community. Because being an immigrant can be difficult, there are people who speak very little English <coughs> and they want to become American citizens. The answer is that yes, you may still qualify and you can become a citizen. And let me give a simple example. Marissa, we have people coming into our office and they speak very little English. Like, right. You know, because right. some of them are fantastic people from the construction business. Right. Some of them are from, you know, driving cabs. Some right. of them have regular jobs. Some of them are older but, too. Yeah, exactly. And some of them are older too. And there's nothing to be nervous about. I'm here to work with you. We work with right. you. As far as you have decided that I want to become a citizen, we will help you. And there's another good news. Let's start with the basics. Like a person comes to our office, says that I want to become a citizen. So we give them a very simple test in the office. Okay. And after that test, we know whether he or she is capable of becoming a citizen. That's a great idea, actually. So you give them a simple test. And then after that, we give them a simple test. A lot of them are so good, they at least know how to write, I love you. Right. I live in New York. So that's a great start. So you're like prepping them. Exactly. Okay. That, and then that, after is, that, that is great indeed. The good news is that we have also created a new program wherein you get videos in different languages. So you can study for the entire citizenship exam. In that language. In, in the, their language. In English. And that includes everything that is going to happen inside the room and everything as right. to what you can expect when you go for the interview. That's so wonderful. we have a training program for that. That's wonderful. So once if you're trained, then your chances can become better. And there's another good news for you. And not many people know that. Now take an example about somebody who knows very little English. Right. Like he's doing his job and he's just a little scared. So what we do for you, first thing is that we give you a, a small prep course where right. you can start preparing at home. Secondly, we file the application for you. We have four to six months for you. You want to get study materials from us. Right. Then you'll also get, uh, you know, to get to come in and see us to see how well you're doing. Then finally, the lawyer can also go with you inside the room. Can there? I was yes. told that they can. Okay, so we're, we're going okay. to repeat this. Now, suppose just take an example, um, example about Marissa. She comes into my office, tells me, Mr. Gay, I get nervous. And I'm very scared of taking the exam. So the good news is what I can do for Marissa, I can start your citizenship application. Right. I can file it for you. Then when you have an interview date, I can even go with you and sit next to you. Really? Right next to you and represent you for the citizenship exam. That helps a lot, especially for people who get very nervous. That is very, very And a very lot big. of people have this thing about, you know, getting nervous. Right. And that's human. 
Right, anxiety, and having that anxiety. Is exactly, anxiety, anxiety, being nervous, being scared, that's human. So a lot of like women from our community and, you know, uh, even men from our community, senior citizens, they prefer taking a lawyer for the interview. And there's another reason why people take a lawyer. When you take a lawyer at the interview, generally you're dealing with a very conservative environment right now. Right. There are some officers who just don't do the right thing with people. They try to be very intimidating. Right. To try to give a hard time sometimes, some of them. Or they just try to take your money and do nothing. I've experienced that. So, so. you know what? No, I'm talking about immigration officers right. who right. take the interview. They don't take money. They are right. They just officers. give you a difficult time. Difficult time right. at the interview. So once if they give you a difficult time at the interview, the lawyer can stand up for your rights and tell them that, you know, we can make this happen. We can work it properly and get you through. I've seen a lot of complaints from clients that the officer was very, very kind of intimidating. So a lawyer can make sure that you are in good hands. And generally, I've seen people who came to us, they did not expect that they would pass, but right. they did work hard. Well, that's they because did, they're, they're, being they're being prepped. They're being prepped. And if you're prepped Absolutely. or not, you can make this happen. So even if you speak little English, we're going to speak very slowly so that our viewers can understand. So take an example. We have this wonderful person whose name is Mr. John Doe, uh, Mr. Ram Prasad. And now the thing is that Mr. Ram Prasad wants to become a citizen and he speaks little bit of English, we can help him. And we want you to become a citizen because it's one of the best things you can ever do for yourself. Because imagine that in future, after 65, you want to get your social security benefits, you want to get your welfare, you want to get you know all the benefits. Being a citizen helps you to get benefits. Absolutely. Remember, spend a little bit of time outside your work and that's why based upon our community demand, we keep the office open on Saturday for people who want to apply for citizenships. So Saturday, a lot of people come in and see me in my Jamaica office or in my office in, uh, on Liberty Avenue or even in Forest Hills. They say, Mr. K, and the good news is come with your passport and your green card. We finish it up right there for you. Right. And a lot of citizenships are literally done by us on the same day. So you don't have to go back and forth and everything too. Which is great. And you can either email us some of the documents. There's a special service in our office dedicated to U.S. citizenship. Great. That's actually, that's great. Um, now, I have a very important question that I always get asked. Um, and I, it's important for me to know too. And you're an expert at this. So guys, before I even ask the question, please look at the bottom of the screen and support Mr. Day. He's, been, he's an awesome immigration attorney. Very successful. Um, with that said, my next question. So if you're a green card holder living in the United States for 10 to 15 years, and for whatever reason, uh, you decided not to go at, after that four and a half to five years to become a citizen. So now you're in the U.S. for 10 to 15 years. Can you become a U.S. citizen still at that point? Yeah, let's, uh, I mean, you're talking about are there any exemptions to taking the citizenship exam? Right. So let's take an example here. For so yeah. long. You've been here for nearly around uh, 20 years, okay? and you are, you are over the age of 50 now. You got your green card for more than 20 years, and you're over the age of 50, there's some good news for you. You don't have to take a lot of exams. You only have to take one exam. That to the simple history exam, I would call it the 100 questions from there. And even if you pass that oral exam, you don't have to do the written exam. And I think that's a great that's thing. So you don't have to write, and you don't have to read. You just have to basically pass the oral exam and that too it can be in your native language. So for example, if your native language is Dutch, if you're from Suriname, you can take it in Dutch if you want. And if you just want to talk in English, do it in English. If you want to do it in, in Arabic, do it in Arabic. So that's the benefit of being here for a long time and having your green card for a long time. Now this applies to three types of people. One are those who are over 50 years of age okay. and have had the green card for 20 years. Number wow. one. That's Second is meant for people who are 55 years old. Wow. Second is meant for people who are 55 years old and have had the green card for 15 years. Wow. The third category is for 65 and they've been here for 20 years. So if you meet wow. any of those requirements, the citizenship exam can be really easy. Now let's Take this question, citizenship question, a little further. Okay. You have someone in your family or a friend, you or she is on a wheelchair. Right. 
and she's very sick and the doctor says mentally she is no good anymore right that person doesn't even have to take the exam well and it would so not the person is citizenship. mentally unable but the the standards are, is very high you don't you cannot just say that i cannot read right but if you're very sick and if in that situation if your doctor says yes i'm going to help you to make sure that exactly you are in a position where and i think you are unable to take the exam the good news for your relative is that they don't have to take the exam that's known as the medical disability and if you qualify for the medical disability then you do not have to take any test you can directly become a citizen if the officer passes you that is and we've great done that for people too that's wonderful to know so i've given you different ways of how to become a you know how to kind of apply the biggest reason why people don't become citizens are you ready for that marissa i'm ready for it tell me because they are scared because they think they cannot do it right absolutely you that's right you need to remember one said. thing my dear friends fortune favors the brave the lord is the strength of the strong and when the great get going the going gets great so what i'm trying to say is that if you have decided that you want to become an american citizen take the first step and if you take the first step we are here to work with you so that you can achieve your goal to become an american citizen imagine that your wife or your husband is stuck in guyana right now or in trinidad or in any caribbean island or anywhere in the world he's stuck in holland he's stuck in saudi arabia or where or india and you want him to come here do you know how easy it is once if you become a citizen it's much easier but you should take that first step and let the lawyer handle the headaches for you because even filling up the regular citizenship form is not easy anymore right gone it's are the days that you can just do everything on your own you need a good lawyer to look at everything it's a small investment it's the best investment you can ever make of course you get all the If benefits you become a citizen imagine the benefits you're going to get so people tell me this other thing marissa who oh, i'm so busy on my job and because of that i cannot do it remember one thing you're not going to get the god benefits forbid, no god forbid if you ever get charged and if you're convicted or if you plead guilty to a very serious crime your green card is gone and at that time you're going to cry and say why didn't i become a citizen now this is what happens in a lot of cases but when people come to my office and you know they get into deportation they tell me i was just lazy and i did not apply i don't want our viewers to be lazy absolutely i want you to be proactive become a citizen and that's the biggest gift you can give it to yourself rather than any third party and that's why we have this late evening hours coming a lot of our clients like you are wonderful from our caribbean community and other communities they come in in the evening time they sit with us they tell us mr k or my office staff rahul is there then i have kimberly in the other office finish up the forms and we review it for you and there's nothing for you to worry about and if we work with you god willing you will achieve your goal of becoming an american citizen and also as i said even if you failed in the past don't worry do it again you just have to pass one time even if you failed 100 times Absolutely. how many times you have to pass it once and be happy and sometimes i know the feeling that people get depressed that i did not pass the exam Snap. get up you see that you can do it that's 80% of the battle won and that's how you need to approach your us citizen check you have to be confident you have to have the will power you that know, is correct. to do that now this is actually a great question that i hear a lot of um okay. and i know people in this situation so let's say for example i'm going to use myself and you if you don't mind yeah i am you are an american citizen i'm yeah. an illegal immigrant and you're married yeah. or undocumented and we are married right. can i get a green card no that's a good question number one is that now this we want to speak very slowly let's divide the question into three parts you came in on a visitor's visa to america right you you undocumented undocumented which means you overstayed your visa now the good thing is if you marry an american citizen in 4 months you can get your work permit 
and in eight months, if everything goes well, you can get your green card in America right here. It's that simple. That is phenomenal. A so, lot of people don't know now, that. Now, let's take another example. You get married to a green card holder. Right. That green card holder becomes a citizen. He right. applies for a citizen check. We do that right. for him. Then after that, you file for her papers here and you get the green card here. Another way to do it. That's truly phenomenal because you see a lot of that going on. Now, there's something else which I want to spell out. Some more news. You can also marry a member of the same sex. Which means a woman can marry a, right. a woman. Right. A man can marry a man. And through that also, if he's an American citizen, you can qualify for a green card in the United States without leaving the country. Now, this is scenario number one, wherein she entered the country right. with the visitor's visa. Now, the another word which I hear a lot from our community, I came backtrack. You know that word backtrack? Absolutely. So Absolutely. there are some people who came backtrack. Especially from the Caribbean. Yeah. Right. They crossed the border and they came in. Now, there's good news for you. Can I repeat? There's good news. Let's hear this news. You came by crossing the border. Right. You got married to an American citizen. The good news is that you can still, you may still qualify for a green card. Now for that, you have to apply for the provisional waiver. Now what is that? You apply for the papers here. After you apply, you do the visa processing here. Then you get the unlawful presence waiver approved in America. So there's no risk for you. I mean, the risk is always minimized. Right, and right. then after that, once we get that approved, you just have to go abroad for just around a month or so, and they cannot hold you if everything is correct. If everything is perfect, they cannot stop you from coming back. They cannot. Then, no, once if everything is perfect, and if you did not lie to your lawyer, right. and if everything is good to go, and if they feel that everything is good on the case, I've had many clients who came in by crossing the border. Right. And they got back to an American citizen. They went back and they came back over here. They, yes, they are here. Prior results do not guarantee future outcome, but the answer is that. yes. Okay. You can still have hope even if you have crossed the border, you marry an American citizen, you have hope and you can still, you may still qualify for a green card. That so is that wonderful. is interesting, but some people think I came without a visa here. Even if I marry an American citizen, nothing is going to happen. Get that out. Yes, you can still qualify. You may still qualify for a green card if you are eligible for the I-601 waiver. So that is great news. I-601A uh, uh, I waiver. Well, you know what? Speaking of this, uh, you like um, undocumented uh, person that you're getting married. So I have another question. Pretty much ties into that. If... Uh, their children and they're a U.S. citizen and their parents are illegal. Can the parents through their kids become a U.S. citizen or even green card yeah. holders? Let's take an example now, Marissa. Let's take you as an example. Sure. Right? Now, you are an American citizen here. Right. Now, your parents, they came in from Guyana or from Trinidad or from any other country by means of a visitor's visa. Now, right. Marissa is an American citizen. Her parents are here. They visited here, they are here right now and they want to get the green cards. They came in legally on the visitor's visa. They can get the green cards here, yes. Because you are over 21, you want to sponsor your parents, the answer is yes. And once they apply, then your parents can get the green card here without going back. You've done this for many people. That is phenomenal news. So, phenomenal. also, now, you know, take an example, you're a citizen, there's a lot of things. Now, one important thing, Marissa, which I want to tell you, I get a lot of calls from my community, and sometimes people are scared. You know why? Tell me. Some people have a minor criminal record. That was going to be my next question. If you're a why U.S. citizen, ask me about that? So if you're a U.S. citizen and you commit a green card holder, or a green card holder, well, a green card holder, I'm sorry, and you have committed a crime, crime. can you be deported? Oh yes. Number that? one is that it depends on the nature of the crime. Right. If and, it's a felony, yeah, misdemeanor. Yeah. Let's go slow on that. Let's break the question up so we'll explain everything to our viewers on the show. Number one is you are a green card holder. You went out to party. Right. And at the party, you got a little tipsy. Right. You're driving your car. The cop pulled you over. Now you have a criminal record. Now, 
sometimes these records are minor. You can still, you may still qualify to become a U.S. citizen. So some people think that once you have a criminal record, you can never become a citizen. That is wrong. It depends on the nature of the crime. So we've had people from our community, you know, everyone commits a mistake. They committed some mistakes of, you know, uh, having a criminal record. Having a criminal record does not mean that you cannot become a citizen. It depends on the nature of the crime. Right. So if you pled guilty, or if you, your case was dismissed, or if you got an adjournment in contemplation of dismissal, these are things that I look at under a microscope. And once we take care of the case, the good news for you is that you can still qualify and become a citizen. That's amazing. And guys... Uh... And we've had people who had criminal records, and today they are citizens. Prior results do not guarantee future outcome. But the good news is that, yes, you can. And if you have any questions, you can call us at 718-764-6911 uh, for a free initial personal consultation. And, uh, three different offices. Three different offices. And you can make so weekend you. appointments. So, guys, he's given a lot of information. So, please make sure. Again, like you said, free consultation, three, three different offices, and weekends appointments. So, become a citizen. That's going to be the motto of our show today. Take the first step, get this piece of paper, and live without any fear. Good? Very good show. You see what we did? We went very slow.